I'd like to briefly go over the Mendelian legacy. Like many revolutionary findings in science, the discovery of genetic factors was made in the 1800s. Unlike other revolutions, however, Mendelian inheritance had to wait until the 1900s to become well-known and useful for research. At least one reason for this was the lifestyle and career path of Gregor Mendel, the Austrian scientist whose years of studying generations of pea plants have made him the grandfather of genetics. Mendel was not a professional scientist, but instead made a living as a religious man. He carried out his experiments on peas in the small garden of a church, where he was a friar, meaning he dedicated himself to study in service of God. Not long after completing his very careful experiments, he became the abbot of the church, meaning he was in charge, and subsequently had no time to continue his science. For these reasons, and because his colleagues couldn't understand the significance of his work, Mendel's findings were not spread, even in his native German language, despite his experiments having been carried out from 1856 to 1863, exactly the same time English Charles Darwin published Origin of Species. You see, in Mendel's day, the scientific consensus was that offspring inherited traits from parents in a blended fashion, uh, today known to be multi-gene inheritance. Yet the evidence from Mendel's generations of purebred peas showed they were usually deep purple and less often white, but they were never light purple. The same was true for six other phenotypes, such as pod form or stem size. Furthermore, the patterns of all these phenotypes were mathematically consistent, as seen in this Punnett square. Well, it turned out that Mendel was 40 years ahead of his time. By the year 1900, these laws of heredity had been independently discovered by other scientists, and Mendel's publication resurfaced. It still wasn't until the 1930s that Mendelian principles were synthesized with Darwinian evolution, and the modern biological paradigm came into existence. Nowadays, Mendel's three laws of inheritance are taught in high school biology class and are used to analyze genetic diseases. So, let this be a lesson to scientists. You may have done revolutionary research, but it will go nowhere unless you successfully promote it. So, that's just a bit on the Mendelian legacy. Uh, if you need a refresher or if you're not familiar on the genetic laws of inheritance, uh, please go to your favorite biology resource and look that up. It's probably best to read it rather than use a YouTube video. Khan Academy is good. I used nature research publications and uh, there's live science. There's many resources, so please take a look.